So at this point in the U.S., I think pretty much everybody should just leave the Democratic Party. And I know a lot of people are like, well, that's just your opinion in your hippie California liberal bubble and et cetera, et cetera. And then what will we have? We have the Republicans and, you know, more fear tactics and scaremongering and stuff. But we've already been over the whole two party debate, et cetera. You know, I don't want to go over the whole, oh, there's only two parties in the U.S., even though there's not really just two parties. I don't want to go over that whole conversation again. The whole topic I want to talk about is why we should leave the Democratic Party, why we shouldn't give them any support. And it's pretty simple because they were already caught cheating in the Democratic primary. In 2016 and all that, 2015, it was so obvious how they were trying to screw over Bernie Sanders. And it's not just like super liberal people saying this, like actual corporate news anchor type talking head peoples on TV have been saying this. And the the person who was the head of the Democratic Party at the time or whatever, you know, Deb, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, she pretty much admitted it and she lost her position. And then the other person who was in charge pretty much gave Hillary Clinton a little upper hand and then she had to like step down and it was just so corrupt and there were so many emails that were leaked and of course they said, you know, those aren't legit. But uh, but then they're going to also sue because they did hack them, although those emails aren't hacked. Or maybe that they are true, but, you know, because they're hacked, you should ignore them or something. It's just a bunch of BS. Basically, the Democratic Party keeps screwing people over. They have been in power. Even in California, they've been super majority, can do pretty much anything they want. But this is still, you know, kind of Republican, Democratic balancing California almost when you actually look at the legislation like I said we actually banned gay marriage twice and uh, then the Supreme Court of California had to overturn it but we like I keep saying we've had the majority of Democrats for the longest time we're supposed to be like the bluest of blue states but we still can't get things like health care or this you know net neutrality bill passed just for California and California is so strong and rich and everything just by itself it's like the fifth largest economy in the entire world and people just you know dismiss it i'm kind of going off on california tangent instead of just democratic party basically the democratic party has been fucking people over and they're only when they're in power they don't use it they had that supreme court nomination with obama but they were just like okay whatever we'll let the Repu republicans walk all over us they had a super majority when obama first went to office they could have did pretty much anything but they just did like a kind of a weak health care type shits and then not to mention all the freaking wars we've been in non-stop republicans and democrats doesn't matter just war 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 one of our presidents wasn't it eisenhower who was like you know just beware of the you know war machine because like there's nothing stopping that no matter which party you're from so I'm just saying they don't have anything to offer us and there's no reason to support assholes and thieves like that. Like if a lot of Democrats talk shit on Republicans for backing Republicans who are caught in scandals, this is like a massive, massive scandal screwing over the best progressive in the country, the, the highest rated politician in the country, Bernie Sanders, they screwed him over they pretty much admitted to it. They're caught, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and they still lost the election to Donald Trump, who is not a politician. And if you just fail that time over and over and over and over, then just give up, leave, leave them, because they're not switching who's in power. It's the same people, same corporate people who are in power. They might have a different face. But it's the same bullshit over and over and over. And then there's this other thing. A Colorado candidate, part of the Democratic Party, who's running, like primarying another Democrat, he got approached by the Democratic whip, who was uh, Steny Hoyer. And so he got secretly taped saying, you know, there's already a decision that's been made before the voting that we selected uh, somebody to run for the Democratic Party. And he's like, what, what the fuck are you talking about? You know, before it's been made, the voters make the decision. And so when you see that kind of corruption in the Democratic Party, in any party, you have to leave. You, there's, it's not possible just to cut that out. The party's dead. It's over. And also, it's not just getting like 
fancy things like universal health care when you have super majority, but things like, you know, the infrastructure. We have so much stuff that's crumbling. Our roads are crumbling. Our bridges are crumbling. You keep hearing about lead in all the water. It's not just in Michigan. It's not just on the East Coast, although the East Coast is terrible since it's older. But there is quite a bit of lead water over here in the West Coast, too, because of the infrastructure and the pipes and all that. And we have all this money. And that's been a huge argument for a lot of political people, because, you know, when I was kind of growing up under the liberal bubble and stuff, I was like, well, we just need to give more money in taxes so we can have more money to do all this stuff. That's not really the problem because we have all that money. The problem is where the money goes, who's distributing it and where it's being distributed to and all that. A lot of people are scared to go to a third party. And even Bernie Sanders is scared to go to a third party because he was running as an independent for decades and nobody gave him any fucking notice. I knew about Bernie Sanders decades before everybody else. Well, maybe not decades, maybe one decade. But still, my point remains valid. I say, fuck the Democratic Party, leave it. Maybe do a, a new party. I know doing new parties isn't that easy. They've tried, but... I would rather just try a new party than stick with these fools.